Welcome to Revit Content and the all-in-one Revit Elevator family. This tutorial will show you how to adjust from a front axis to a front rear axis elevator including a split level situation. We start with a front axis elevator and we will add a rear axis at the split level which is uh, in this case uh, level 1.2. I start on level 1.1 to move back the rear wall to show you what is uh, happening at the rear side of the elevator. To get the rear door I just mirror the front door. You can also place a new elevator door uh, on the rear side instead. As you can see now uh, I get a rear door which is mirrored and uh, a cabin as well. Uh, to switch off the cabin we have the instance parameter symbol lines and as you can see after deactivating this parameter we have just the rear door without a second cabin. Um, the next step is to adjust the uh, front axis cabin. We have the front, rear and side axis parameter and uh, you can change this to 2 for rear and front and to 3 for a front and side axis. In this case we use a parameter a value 2 to get a front and a rear axis. So you can see now that uh, the elevator cabin changed fully automatically to a front and a rear axis uh, cabin as well as the shaft volume which defines the new uh, age for the uh, for the shaft wall which I will move now back and uh, when we go back to level 1.1 <coughs> you can see that the door sits now at the, at, at the right position so the the uh, parametric functionality of this uh, family has done all the work for you so when we go now to the 3D view, we can see that uh, the uh, mirrored uh, rear door sits on the level 1.1, where it came from. So we just uh, change this uh, constraint to level 1.2. And as a result, you can see now a uh, rear door on the split level. As you could see during this tutorial, it is very simple to adjust the elevator, for example from a front axis to a front rear axis elevator, and this is just one of countless simple to adjust features uh, of this amazing all-in-one Revit elevator family. I want to thank you for watching this video tutorial and I hope that this or other families of our all-in-one series will add real value to you and your Revit project. If you would like to learn more about this or other families of our all-in-one Revit family series, just visit us online at uh, www.revit-content.com.